the format of the robot. There's a thing that I found recently, and it's ironic that these were found after Richard Turner got arrested and the cat costume he used for his crimes vanished from the world. Well, I have a story to tell you all, and what I found. Basically, my school, which I won't give the address or name of, was teaching us history about what happened during the entire Sammy the Cat incident and the entire story that someone wrote about the said incident. We had a test about it, but it was easy, and I could finish it. But after the day was about to end, I found something that's shaped like a rectangle sticking out of the ground. They looked like tapes, not for a specific show, but instead for their own purpose. The tapes looked pretty dirty, and it looked like they got rained on. That's until I found a sentence drawn on the tapes, they were written in this order. Kennedy Tape 1, Kennedy Tape 2, Kennedy Tape 3, Kennedy Tape 4, and Kennedy Tape 5. The numbers went on, as there were a lot of tapes in the pile. That's until I found out something about these tapes, they were created by Richard Turner's friend, Jack Kennedy. Though I don't know what his idea was with these tapes, I didn't care. Maybe I could bring these to my school, as we are planning a show until tomorrow. However, I got to make sure they were appropriate enough, even though we literally learned about a costumed man who murdered people in his house. But schools are schools, they are stupid anyway. Anyway, I went home and grabbed my old VHS player from the basement, which I will use for school as well. After a little while and getting things ready, I decided to finally put Kennedy Tape 1 into the player, and it started. The tape started with railroad tracks, silence so far, peaceful yet odd silence with the trees moving and wind blowing. It stays like this until there's murmuring in the background, followed by the sounds of a man yelling. It ended with someone crying, the person sounded like a child. Someone's legs ended up in front of the camera, and they got pushed on the railroad tracks while struggling and fighting with the man keeping the child still, until the man eventually tied the child down. Trains are heard in the background, followed by a train going towards the child, and the screen eventually goes black. The tape then ended and popped out of the player. I grabbed it and played the tape too. It started with a young child playing around, but as it started normally for a second, there was a cat in the background. It was white with black patches, and it had a smile on its face. The cat itself looked cartoony, almost like it shouldn't even be on the tape either way, and maybe it was edited there to spook people. The scary part that technically disproves my theory is seeing the child's face, appearing in complete horror, and crying, possibly for their mommy or daddy. This might be off topic, but this cat looks familiar. It looked like the same costume that Richard used to portray Sammy in Sammy the Cat. Though I noticed the stitches on its body were gone, it seemed like it was being worn by a different person, possibly trying to finish what Richard had done. I know that this wasn't Richard Turner since he was recently released and is an ordinary person now, and this individual might have been Jack Kennedy the whole time. The kid then leaves, while the camera zooms away from Jack Kennedy, and on the kid, it comes back, but the costume is now lying on the ground, nobody is in it anymore, and nobody was there. The tape ended, and it popped out. I took out the tape and placed the third one in the player. It started with a family celebrating their kid's 10th birthday. Anyway, this may sound out of context to you. It was of a kid at the age of 10, of course, blowing out the candles of his cake with a man dressed as a yellow bear with a black top hat, his torso blocked off by the chair. He presumably had a bow tie or something, but when I was listening to the audio, the parents were singing happy birthday to their son, soon turning into fear as they noticed the man behind him. They said absolutely nothing because they didn't want their child to feel scared, and it was assumed that the man was just a guy they hired to entertain their child, but it wasn't a guy they hired. It was Jack Kennedy. He pulled out an axe and killed the family one by one. I felt my heart break, as it really did hurt just to see someone get murdered on their birthday. After silence and sounds of screaming by the family, as well as drops of blood here and there, there were police sirens, but Jack Kennedy then escaped through the back window before the police arrived, leaving his costume behind. The tape then ended, and I popped it out. 
At this point after the three tapes, I started feeling anxious because of the content being shown, even if some of these tapes were clearly censored and didn't show the murder. I played the fourth tape, and what I saw made me nearly vomit. It played like a slideshow, and I can explain each and every image briefly. The first slide was the aftermath of the little boy's head being crushed by the upcoming train. The second slide was depressing, apparently, the kid who had Sammy the cat behind them had their parents gone, and unfortunately, the kid never found justice. The kid was gone. I lost it at the final slide. It was the aftermath of what happened in the third tape, it showed everyone in the family brutally murdered, their eyes gouged out, and other crap I couldn't explain. I couldn't bring this other part up because I had the feeling I could trigger someone reading this post. It was. How could I put this? Basically, they had pets, right? Well, they met the same fate as the entire family. Jack Kennedy murdered them all as well. After this, the tape ended and popped out of the player, but when I heard a knock at my door, I went and opened it. It was Richard Turner, the former portrayer of Sammy the Cat. He was no longer sloppy or filthy like he was in prison, and he's in a calmer and happier mood, yet he still felt pretty guilty. He wanted to come in and tell me something. I allowed him to come in, and I promised to give him a drink. He sat down on my couch, and I sat on my chair, asking him why he wanted to come into my house. He said that he saw me digging outside of my school and finding a pile of tapes that Jack Kennedy created, so he came to my house in order to check them out with me. I gave him the fourth tape so he could do the honors and put it in the tape player. He did so, and it started playing. It was clearly an episode of a show, and it seemed recent and different from the other tapes I watched. It was supposedly a reboot of Sammy the Cat, and Mr. Turner was shaking nervously when he saw the three words appear on the screen. I couldn't blame him, as it's giving him horrible flashbacks. The show started with the cat appearing on the screen, but there were no stitches on him, and this clearly took place before the second tape, as he abandoned the costume, leaving it to rot. He didn't stare at the viewer, but it went to the next scene immediately. Richard Turner was in fear, especially since he's seeing this tape himself, and this is a reboot of what he made, and he certainly didn't want to see this. Sammy called out for someone in the room but received no response. He called out again but received no response, and at this point, he began to yell at the top of his lungs until the speakers broke. That's when someone comes out of a corner, and then the cat decided to go on a floor, and doing something supernatural, he had his legs and arms like a spider, possibly trying to crawl like a cat, but you can clearly hear the bones cracking. He ran straight forward towards the man and knocked him to the ground. The guy tried to fight Sammy, trying to knock his mask off, but it didn't come off. If you remember, Jack Kennedy made the costume advanced so you wouldn't just knock it off easily. Unfortunately, the guy lost control, and the cat took out the knife and started stabbing the man to death. Richard was in shock to see his old friend acting like this. He even told me that he wasn't like this at the facility they met at. We were planning to call the police on him, but we didn't know what he looked like. All I saw were his eyes on the tape, where the family was celebrating their 10-year-old's birthday, inside that weird yellow bear costume. We called the police department and told them about a man in a cat costume and also a yellow bear costume. The police told us that the man was identified as Jack Kennedy, much to our shock. We were told that they were on the way, and the tape continued. Sammy began to choke the man and rip out the man's eye, breaking his jaw and leaving him mutilated and disfigured on the spot. It almost made us throw up looking at his corpse, but we had to stomach it. Thank God he didn't eat the eye he pulled out, and unfortunately, I spoke too soon, he ate the eye. The corpse also tried to move a little, but Jack Kennedy stopped on his face, and the tape ended, immediately popping out. Now, for the fifth tape, we loaded it into the player, and the tape played. It was a cartoon illustration of Sammy the Cat, and it was in a cartoon format. Even though the original show was in a live-action format, this was clearly handmade, and props for that definitely. But it was the same as the original tape of the show that was described in the original post, but it introduced a new character, Pluggy the Plug-In. Pluggy the Plug-In was an obscure character, much like Sammy the Cat, he was just a plug-in with a badly drawn face plastered on the front side. 
It was just a happy face, certainly friendlier than the cat. The cat just had a smile that went from cheek to cheek, and he didn't look friendly, but Pluggy may be a friendlier character, hopefully. Though every time he appeared on the screen, it would show plenty of pictures I couldn't describe but were very hard to see since they appeared on the screen fast and went away. The rest of the contents of this tape were just jumbled and incomplete static because Jack Kennedy wanted to hide something during the static. Though when I looked closer, there was a message. It read. Dear viewer, in case anyone reads this, you made the mistake of watching this, and if you're calling the police, it's too late for that now, so you might as well give up. It popped out, and we got a sudden knock at our door. It was a police officer. They informed us that they couldn't find Jack Kennedy, and the last time people saw him was when he drove to Colorado. Nobody paid enough attention though. Let us know what we could do with the other tapes, and for now, Richard will be living with me as he lost everything because he was in prison for so long.